Samantha Bond is like any other student. She gets good grades, is a member of student council, and is on the swim team. But one thing sets her apart. She's deaf. The Wingspan News got a chance to interview Samantha and how she lives life without sound. I grew up deaf. I was born hearing. Then, when I was 16 months old, I became deaf. I got really sick from meningitis. Samantha goes on to explain how hard it is to communicate to other people. It's really hard to be deaf because all the other people are hearing and I'm talking to hearing people without an interpreter. And I don't understand what they're saying. And I'm like, could you say it again, again, repeat it again for me, please? I can read lips sometimes, but not very easily. During class time, if I'm sitting there and I'm paying attention to the interpreter and the teacher and what they are trying to say, the other kids, they kind of distract me. They're annoying because they move around, they'll move things around, or they are on their phones, or they are walking around the classroom, and then I kind of get distracted. I want to know what's wrong, and I look at them, and then I look away from the interpreter and the teacher to see what they are doing. And I miss what the teacher just said. There are some situations in the classroom when the teacher puts a video up or if they are having a movie and I don't know if it is closed captioned and I'll ask if there is closed caption on that and most of the videos here don't. I just have to look at the interpreter and then I go back and forth trying to look at the movie, get what's on the video and look at the interpreter at the same time. It's very hard. Although it's hard for Samantha to concentrate in the classroom, she doesn't let that stop her from participating in sports. I think it wouldn't be hard for me to join sports or join the swim team. It's just wanting to get involved because I wasn't really into sports. I think that it was a good idea to join the swimming team because I like the water. Just like any other student, Samantha has goals set so that she can have the future that she desires. My goals would be to graduate from high school and go to Gallaudet University. Hearing and deaf people, they mingle there, but they all know sign language. They must know sign language. Samantha finishes by describing what it's like to be the first deaf person at 5A. It feels weird. Also, I feel wonderful because I didn't know I was going to be the first person here at 5A that's deaf. And I'm me. This has been Tiffany Cruz reporting for the Wingspan News.